Hey guys, this is going to be the first official system test of my new fire alarm panel, which I have actually had for a long time now, but you know, <laughs> I haven't been bothered to make videos on it. Um, so as you can see, it is a Hayes Vector. It actually doesn't say on it on the front. I know some of them have logos. I saw one in a shop uh, like a week ago that had a Hayes Vector logo on it. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the screen looks very weird and that's because I'm using an iPhone camera to record this on normal well most Android phones this would just look like uh, it would look brighter like the blue you can see in the corners it looks brighter but it would look brighter than that and it looks brighter in real life but it does look cool on this camera so yeah um, so as you can see I have well six sort of notifications here I scroll up I need the key. Um, this has a key, you can't use the passcode to enter the um, level 2, so you have to use a key. It's fine, but um, so as you can see, I've got disablement active, so that is because I have only the two X95 base sounders activated, and this is because it's, well, first of all, it's very loud, and second, I can't, I still can't figure out how to do output groups and stuff like that, so I've just disabled the other sounders. Um, number two is um, an open circuit. I think that's a sounder circuit, because it says bell one. But yeah, uh, and then we've got a battery fault, that's because there are no batteries in it. Uh, a regulator voltage fault. I think this is um, to do with the panel's PSU, which is very dodgily wired, as you can see. Uh, the battery charger doesn't work. Think. and there's just no batteries um, so yeah as you can see also I've got two wires there for alert um, and the loop wiring there so yeah pretty cool so the fifth thing is um, loop one open circuit and the sixth thing is a device fault which is actually not a device fault it's just a device that isn't on the loop but the panel thinks it is because it's can be a bit dodgy sometimes so yeah, um, that regulator voltage fault, I don't think there's any way I can fix it unless I get a different PSU. This panel does support different power supply units, but I do not have another power supply unit, so yeah. It, it works fine anyway, it's just that annoying fault, but the buzzer does actually beep every so often when there's a fault, so I have turned the volume down with uh, the potentiometer somewhere. There, yeah, there. Can't see that. There, I wish I've turned all the way down. It does go. It does turn on back up the volume uh, when there's actually a fire because I think that's probably like regulations and stuff. But yeah. So I have um. Yeah, I've got the devices here. So. The discovery. I've got a discovery sounder here, as you can see. It well, a few discovery sounders. That's actually. That should be connected, but I don't know what's up with it. It's um, discovery sounders don't work on this panel properly. They do do alert, but I don't know why they don't do evacuate. It might be something I need software for. But yeah. So as you can see, I've got an intelligent base sounder which does sync on this panel. Uh, the new Apollo sounders. These these aren't going to work anyway. Uh, hundred decibel sounder, the newer type. And then all these um, these devices which I already had on the system anyway. Before I just replaced the glass in this one with with the uh, auto glass. Just it looks kind of cool. So yeah, let's start off the test by doing um, alert. I think is a good idea. So all I have to do, well, is just get, uh, hold these two wires together. There we go. You can hear the uh, panel's relay clicking there, that's for the um, sounder circuits because they need to be told to just stop the sounders every second. Like the loop, the loop has tones for alert of course, so that's why the panel of course, the relay clicks. Um, so yeah, that's alert. Um, so I will test both call points here, if I can get the keys where they are. Okay, so, um, 
This intelligent will pull, and sometimes if you mess around with the settings, I have done that, and it stops pulling, so yeah, there we go. Uh, it pulls really slowly, as you can see. It's like, press it here. Hmm. I think I know why they're not sounding. Yeah, I think that's because I was messing up with the uh, output groups or whatever, so I think I set some delay or something, so I'll fix that. So I believe I fixed the um, output groups. And Let's see if it'll go off on my test. In this call point. Yeah, it went off fine there. That's strange. Yeah, this panel isn't very um, reliable, let's just say. Probably is still some one of my uh, silly settings or whatever, but... Anyway, so that worked. As you can see, they're in sync. Um, they're not always in sync when you start up the panel, which I'll see later. They're, they do not start in sync. Sometimes you have to do messing around to get them to sync, but... Yeah, uh, that is that. I shall test the optical. As you can see, we got a very nice startup there, the uh, integrated startup first, and the sounder beacon based sounder two seconds after, which is, oh, that just paused. Uh, yeah, it started two seconds after, which is pretty nice. It does that sometimes. Yes, I'll test the discovery optical. It did pull there, so it's probably going to activate soon. As you can see, it does pull really slowly, um, even slower than the advanced. Oh, it's done again. So yeah, I forgot to show you also the zone LEDs. I don't know if you remember that the zones are, well, call points, XP95 optical and base sounder. Uh, zone 3 is the multi-sensor and sounder beacon base, and then zone 4 is the discovery optical and C-Tech, and then zone 5 is all the wall sounders. So yeah, um, as you can see it says room B15, that's from the previous install, it was in some care home? Maybe? I don't know. Anyway, uh, it was in a new block, as it says, the panel name. But yeah, I haven't fully reset all of that, so... But it still works anyway, so that's fine. So I'll test... I don't think I'll do the heat um, element of this multi-sensor because... Well, I don't know. <laughs> well, I'll just test the... smoke element of it. So, there we go. Takes a while, of course. Um, I could do. Oops, I could do something quickly here. Uh, enable the. Oh no. Okay. I was gonna say I could re-enable um, some sounders, but. Uh, yeah, I'll not bother with that. So, yeah, I think I'll give each of these a clear light, so... And this one's a bit awkward. There we go, the LEDs all come back on. Um, 
So if I reset this, it shouldn't go off again. If I blown it off enough, right enough. Yeah, you can see it said new block there. If I reset again. Oh, can't reset. There you go. New block. Panel address zero. It says one loops as well. This panel does actually have two loops, but I did have a problem um, where it wasn't like the second board was playing up, so I just disconnected it and then told the panel that it has one loop instead. Oh, there we go. Because that's. Yeah, I'm off sensor. <laughs> So yeah, I just told the panel that it has one loop instead because it does show a fault if there's only one loop connected and you have two, so all well, the panels programmed to have two. So So yeah, that's pretty nice. Yeah, it, for some reason the panel has a um a thing of when there's a detector in fire, it just likes to reset the sounder. I don't know why. It's weird. I don't, I don't understand it. But anyway, it is what it is. This is a pretty rare panel, to be honest. So I really like the look of it. You know, like these um blue and red buttons and all the colors and stuff. The blue screen as well. It does look very nice. Um. So if I do uh little CPU reset. Press this button here. I'll demonstrate um, the out of sync as well. So here we go. So yeah, as you can see that's really weird. Very out of sync. Um, but the sounders do start faster because it doesn't have that kind of uh, thing where like it has to wait two seconds or until until the um, two second whatever pattern thing. So it just goes off whenever you hit it back here. Supposedly, it it works better when you have one sounder, but yeah, um, but they don't sync so. So that was almost in sync, but it's, um, yeah, still, sometimes when I hit silence and then hit evacuate, like, straight after, it, do it will sync, but only sometimes, so we'll see if that works. There we go, we finally got it working. Um, yeah. That's, um, it is a bit annoying. I don't know, like, what that would be like in a real system. It probably wouldn't sync. It, it, it does sync sometimes, like, randomly, but, yeah, it's, it's weird. It's not like the advance where it has, like, one every minute or something. Um, so I, I guess you could say it's a bit like Kentech, but... There are loads of Apollo panels, and it's very nice to have a range of different, you know, panels and the way they support Apollo protocol. So, yeah, I really like this panel. Um, yeah, this is a vector. Now there is a newer version called the Fusion, which is basically the same thing, but it has uh, conventional circuits like detector circuits, which is cool. So. That was really the first test of the Haze Vector. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, thanks for watching. And I shall see you in the next one. <laughs> I didn't want me to do that. Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye. I have not set the clock properly. Oh well.